Okay, everyone, welcome to Coffee Mug Christianity. I got my mug here, my Star Wars mug. On the other day, on the other side of this uh, is a picture of the Millennium Falcon. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute, uh, but we want to thank you for joining us today. Hello again. Welcome to Coffee Mug Christianity, where we just talk about uh, the basics of uh, the Christian life. This is a, a personal devotional for me. Uh, I'm not really doing it so much as part of the church. This is on my personal Facebook page. These are thoughts that uh, I'm kind of going through in my own life, and I just want to share them with you. Um, and um, we are just uh, um, just uh, also is a good chance to kind of practice my. Um, my technology here <laughs> so if you're joining me uh we uh thank you so much for for doing that and i just want to share a few thoughts today uh this is uh the time of lent as we've been going through it um and um uh, i you, lent is an interesting time because for um those who are part of uh the catholic church or more traditional uh um denominations Lent is a very serious time, and, and for some of us uh, that are more in the Protestant tradition, um, uh, because we don't want to be uh, preaching a salvation of works, we kind of ignore Lent. Uh, but it is good. I, I, I certainly don't believe in works for salvation, but it is good to uh, take, a time, take a little bit of time and, and just reflect, uh, maybe sacrifice something. Uh, not to earn something with God, but to to say, okay, I'm going to take this time to focus on God uh, right now. So I got a scripture here. It's uh, Psalm 68, 7 through 18. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll show you my screen. Uh, this isn't going to look real fancy, but you can kind of follow along with me anyway. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. It might be a little small. Uh, Psalm 68, 17 through 18 says, when you, God, went out before the people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the heavens poured down rain. Before God, the one of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel, you gave abundant showers, O God. You refreshed your weary inheritance, your people settled in, and from your bounty, God, you provided for the poor. The Lord announces uh, the word and women who proclaim it are mighty, uh, are a mighty throng. Kings and armies flee in haste. The women in the home divide the plunder. Even when you sleep among the sheep pens, the wings of the dove are sheathed in with silver, and feathers with shining gold. When the Almighty scattered the kings in the land, it was like the snow fallen on Mount uh, Zaman. Uh, Mount Bashan, Majestic Mountain, Mount Bashan, uh, Rugged Mountain. Why gaze and envy you rugged mountain uh, a, at the mountain where God chooses to reign, where the Lord himself will dwell forever? The chariots of God are tens of thousands and thousands of thousands. The Lord has come from Sinai into his sanctuary. When you ascend on high, you took many captives. You received gifts from people even from the rebellious, that you, Lord, might dwell there. So I just want to give you a, a, uh, just some thoughts for just a few minutes today, and, and this isn't going to be long, uh, but as we are um, concentrating on Lent and uh, get, getting ready for Easter and Good Friday, uh, Good Friday then Easter, um, we, are, we are getting ourselves ready uh, for what Christ has done. And... Um, just so, uh, as we look at this, uh, this is a scripture that gives us a picture of God in victory. So, uh, he's there. The, the the writer here is comparing the mountains. Sometimes uh, in ancient times, the cities would uh, be built on top of mountains, and you could, you of course, know why. Uh, because if you built a city on top of a mountain, or, or a lot of times, the cities would be destroyed, and they would be 
piled in the rubble. They build a city on top and that would be destroyed, piled on, be on top. And these cities would get higher and higher and higher. Uh, either they built on top of a mountain or they built on top of a hill on an old city. But this gave them a, a, an advantage as they were in the city. They could see the enemy coming. Um, and so on top of a mountain uh, of God's mountain was the temple. And on top of that temple, you know, uh, on top of that mountain where, where, you know, in Jerusalem, where you could actually uh, see all around. And, um, and so there's this picture of God on this mighty place on top of his mountain. And all the other mountains of the enemies of Israel cannot stand, right? Um, and I, I want to concentrate on the last verse, because that verse is actually quoted in the book of Ephesians. And it says, uh, when you ascended on high, you took many captives. You received gifts. Um, you received gifts from people, even from the rebellious, that you, God, might dwell there. Um, there's a play on words here when we go to it. In fact, I'm going to go to it because it's in Ephesians 4. And it's really interesting how Paul quotes this. Um, and let me, let me uh, just find it real quick. Um, Ephesians, um, E-P-H-4, Let's see what happens now. Um, let me see where I'm messing things up here. Sorry about that. Stick with me. I'm, uh, I am going to get it. All right. Um, okay. I, I'm going to show you my screen again. Uh, it says, um, down here, but each one of us, grace has been given as Christ Jesus apportioned it. This is why it says, when he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. Isn't it interesting how Paul quotes it and kind of changes it there a little bit? Um, because what, what he's saying here under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit is that God conquered his enemies in the Old Testament and he took things from from men right this is what the psalmist is saying he's saying uh, you know he has conquered and he has taken his plunder right but when paul to, quotes the scripture he turns it around he says he ascended on high so when christ ascended on high he's not um ascending to the mountain in jerusalem uh right where god where, where they said god's presence is but he ascended to the right hand of god and, and so he took all authority, but instead of taking gifts from men, he, uh, he gave gifts to men. And uh, there's this captive here. He, he uh, took many captives, right? So uh, the one way people always interpret this is when he says it takes many captives that he captured Satan. Uh, but, but I don't believe that's what's being said here, the way Paul is saying it. I'm, I believe it's saying that Jesus captured men. Right, Jesus captured people, but instead of uh, us being captured and paraded around uh, in embarrassment and and God taking things from us, Jesus captured us, and then He gave gifts to us, uh, uh, gifts of ministry in the church, and 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 gifts to um, to do uh, His work. Uh, out of his grace and out of his mercy. So um, today, uh, just for this thought uh, for Lent today, um, think about how Christ has captured you, how Christ has given you the gift of his grace, the gift of his mercy. And think about how Christ has given you the gift of his Holy Spirit, if you're, if you're a believer. And, um, and also... Um, think about how Christ has given you gifts to do ministry. So that's kind of a thought for today. And uh, if you're watching this and you're uh, maybe you're on a journey to God and maybe you wouldn't say that you're a Christian yet or you're just kind of trying to discover, discover God or rediscover God in your life, um, I, I want you to know that Jesus wants to capture you. And he wants to capture you so he can set you free. Uh, so those are some thoughts for today. Uh, the next time I'm going to come on will be uh, Tuesday at 11 o'clock. And I'm going to try to do this every Tuesday, 11 o'clock and at 4 o'clock in, um, in the afternoon on Thursdays. I'll bring my coffee mug with me. Like I said, uh, this was a gift to me, my Star Wars coffee mug. 
And uh, look at this picture on the back. This has to be, in my opinion, the greatest spaceship ever imagined. And uh, I love, I love this spaceship. I think it's just great. Um, so perhaps at some time we can have a debate on whether the newer movies do justice to the Star Wars story or not. And that's a whole nother thing. Right. Uh, but um, this was a gift to me from my um, uh, I guess I'll put a shout out to uh, my uh, former uh, assistant, uh, Kathy Olson. She bought me this cool Star Wars cup, so I still use it. Kathy, if you're watching, thank you very much. And yes, you can drink coffee in the afternoon, although I'll confess to you I'm drinking water right now. But uh, we'll talk to you soon. Tuesday, uh, I'll, I'll be on again at 11 a.m. And uh, for anyone that just wants to come and just uh, just just share. And one thing you can also do is you can make comments. And um, actually with this program, I could actually bring you on. So if you made a comment and said, hey, I want to come on and, and, and share some thoughts, I could do that. Uh, and uh, also... If you just want to leave a comment and I'll, I'll uh, respond to it here, I'd be happy to do that. If you have questions, if you're watching this later and you just have some questions, do that. This is just some thoughts that I'm going through in my own Christian life, really apart from the pastoral ministry that I'm doing. Uh, I just want to share and and share what Christ is doing and what I'm dwelling on. So I, I hope this been this has been beneficial to you. And if you have anything you want to say, please do so. If you agree or if you disagree, please say so in the comments uh, nicely and uh, and respectfully. I also ask that if you could, uh, please just like and share this. Uh, this video is also going to be on my um, personal YouTube page. Uh, just search for Leo Dodd on YouTube. You should be able to find me. Um, I think I'm pretty distinctly, distinctive looking and I, I haven't really done a lot with the thumbnails over there. So what happens a lot is I just, you just see me, you know, so uh, I, I'm not making money off of YouTube yet because I'm really not doing the videos very well. But I thank you so much for joining and uh, we look forward to talking to you. Uh, for those of you who uh, want to, uh, who are going to join us for church on Sunday morning. I do that on the church uh, Facebook page, uh, First Assembly of God in Cape May, and uh, that's at 945. And uh, so we'd love to see you. Uh, and I uh, just want to say blessings to you today, and uh, we look forward to talking to you soon.